The students came to the embassy to present what they had learned about the kingdom in recent months. They made drawings and paintings representing different aspects of life in the kingdom and took turns talking about Mecca, the king, oil wells and camels. What did you learn about Saudi Arabia that you didn't know? That they speak Arabic and that they wear different clothes than we wear in the United States. Did you enjoy this going through this exercise of learning all about Saudi Arabia? Yes, this was a great trip, one of the best trips I went on this year with Tyler Elementary School. Do you think it would be interesting for you to visit Saudi Arabia once? Yes, because I want to see how they, how they dress and how they really speak and all that. It seems like a fascinating place. I may want to probably see the king and there's more to Saudi Arabia than I think. You'd like to meet the king? Yes. Well, I hope you do. The school that was adopted by the Saudi embassy this year is in a low-income neighborhood of the American capital. Most of the students previously knew nothing about Saudi Arabia. For them, the experience opened a window onto the wider world. I think for them, uh, living in the communities that they live in, um, it's very kind of segregated from the rest of the world, um, and they haven't been exposed to a lot of different um, people or different cultures throughout their lifetime. Uh, so this really opened their eyes to the vast differences there are amongst people of the world. Um, I still remember the very first day that they watched the video on Saudi Arabia, and they, you could see their eyes lighting up saying, like, what's that? What's that? What, what do you mean this is different? Um, so I think just a, a general understanding of the world at large and the fact that even though we're all people, there are a lot of differences among us. Um, but the best part about it was throughout the program, they started to realize that there were a lot of similarities too. For the students, Saudi Arabia is an exotic place with its palm trees, oil wells, and camels. Their teacher says the students were also struck by the central place of Islam in Saudi society. They were really surprised by um, how much religion plays a role in Saudi Arabian culture. Um, I think for a lot of them that's very different than what they're used to. Um, at least in American culture, religion, you know, people have it and there's freedom of religion, but um, it doesn't necessarily dictate people's daily lives. Uh, so I think for them it was understanding how much the Islamic faith um, plays a role in, in daily life in Saudi Arabia. The embassy joins with a fifth or sixth grade class each year under Washington's so-called Embassy Adoption Program. The program was started 37 years ago when a group of women supporting the arts thought the presence of so many foreign embassies here could provide a unique educational tool. This year, 61 embassies have adopted an elementary school class and visit them at least three times to teach them about their country. This is a partnership with the D.C. public school system for fifth and sixth grade students and the Washington Performing Arts Society. Some ladies from the Women's Committee of the Washington Performing Arts Society have very high uh, diplomats that they're friends with and they decided to uh, ask their ambassadors to please go out, share some of the music from their culture, which is how it began, but it has now escalated and blossomed into something much more. We now uh, tune our program into the standards of learning, so it's more than just the music and culture. God and Muhammad is the messenger of God. Like I said, on behalf of them, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, it's been an absolute blessing to our classroom, and we can't thank you enough. So. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, very proud of you. Have you ever had Arabic food? No? We're going to eat a little, uh, little bit of Arabic food here today. We're going to have some lunch. Uh, hopefully our cafeteria staff is, is ready for us now. After their presentation, the students looked at models of Mecca and Medina and at photos on display at the embassy before being treated to a tasty Saudi lunch. These students from Ms. Ogodovsky's fifth grade class at John Tyler Elementary School got their first introduction to Saudi Arabia through this experience. They learned about the country's oil-based economy and its strong cultural traditions, and they marveled at the kingdom's huge desert. 
If some of them go on to become diplomats, they may well point to this enriching experience as their start. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.